obviously some other movement as well. You know, we talked Wednesday about Giroux heading home to Ottawa. You could look, uh, Andre Burakovsky is going to Seattle five and a half a year. So a nice payday for him. Vincent Trotek is headed to New York. So Paul, if you're looking at this, which team improved the most here early in free agency? Well, you can make a case that they all did. Burakovsky is a very nice addition. 5.5 million for five years. He had 61 points in 81 games played. Seattle needs to find more players like him, though, before they are considered a serious playoff uh, threat. And Vincent Trocek comes over to Carolina, where he tallied from Carolina, where he tallied 51 points in 81 games. His highest point total over uh, several years, dating back to a career high back in the 2017 2018 season where he topped 70 point mark for the only time in his career that's the key thing that makes me wonder I think they paid a little too much giving him 5.625 over seven years I really like the Giroux deal though bringing a veteran into Ottawa he's going to quickly assume a leadership role there but also serves as a lightning rod for people in the NHL players to take a look and see hey maybe Ottawa's getting serious about wanting to compete he really wants to be there and the group that's around and looks ready almost to contend for a playoff spot with all the other moves they made this summer so maybe Ottawa is becoming more of a destination particularly with Giroux uh, being at the center of the, the new look. Jeff, which of these clubs improved the most with their new addition? Yeah, I, I mean, I think just from a contract perspective, like the Giroux signing is Paul's right. I mean, like this is a team that's got some good young talent up there. And Giroux, I mean, like they didn't give him, like it's not like a, a massive contract. I mean, it's a veteran's contract. I think Giroux has lots of good hockey left. And quite frankly, like he's the best player of these three we're talking about. The Trocek signing is going to be really interesting. Trocek has some skills. And if he's playing on the second line with Artemi Panarin, it could it could work out very well for New York. But this is also has a, like a big bust factor to it. Trocek in Carolina really wasn't that good. There's a reason why he's not with Carolina anymore, because he wasn't doing anything. Um, his point total had gone down, his effectiveness. He's, he's, he's a bit of a one-dimensional player. But he's getting to play with a guy like Panarin. That, that could really just, you know, bump up his upside. So interesting move there. I think the team that improved the most overall is actually the Detroit Red Wings, another team mm. with a really young core. Love the Perron signing. I think they overpaid a little bit for Andrew Kopp, but Andrew Kopp is a guy who, unlike Trocek, he can just give you a lot of different, like, uh, he's just got a lot of versatility. He brings high-end penalty killing. He can move up and down the lineup. That's something Trocek just really hasn't proven. So I like the moves that Detroit made really almost uh, especially better than the Seattle and the New York moves. So Detroit is a team that I, I think had a very good free agency. I like the move by Ottawa with Drew as well, though.